Hello, Andy and her fans. Michael O'Sullivan here courtside at the Honda Center. 61-58 the final as Cal Poly upsets UC Irvine. It was a great college basketball game, really a seesaw battle back and forth. In the end, the Mustangs came up with some big shots down the stretch. And no question, a disappointed head coach Russ Turner addressed the media after the game. I thought they did a much better job attacking our zone. You know, a lot of the uh, issues for Cal Poly all year has been their personnel and who they have on the floor. And it's, you know, they're like us. When they have different guys out there, they're a very different team than when they, you know, don't have some of their main guys out there. I thought tonight, um, you know, I give Odister credit. He's a senior. He made three threes in the game, even though that was our number one priority to take away. Uh, so he gets credit for that because he went out and did it. I thought that uh, Eversley played really well, especially in the paint. I thought that Nawaba was really good in the paint and made a lot of mid-range jump shots. I thought Bennett was good scoring over Mamadou. And uh, we haven't had a lot of opponents who were able to score you know, over us the way Cal Poly consistently was able to do tonight. Well, I couldn't be prouder of Chris. And uh, the tough thing for us is we both probably couldn't be much more disappointed in the fact that we lost tonight. But that doesn't dampen any of the great feelings that uh, I think he and I will share about the growth we've seen in our program and in our team probably at each other. I think he probably has seen me grow as a coach just like I've seen him grow as a player. And, uh, you know, he, he agreed to come on board with us when what we thought we could do was only talk. And uh, I owe an awful lot to him for the belief he showed in us as coaches and in UC Irvine. And, uh, you know, I told him, I tell all of our guys, I want to recruit guys who want to leave a mark. He's done that. And uh, it's, a, it's a mark that you know, I'm really proud of for him. I mean, we know we're going to play in the NIT, and we'll be excited for that opportunity to compete. And uh, it's hard to focus on that now, because what I thought we'd be doing right now is getting ready to get ice baths so we could play tomorrow. And that has nothing to do with overlooking Cal Poly. We certainly knew they could beat us because we have respect for them like we have respect for every team in our league. And I congratulate them because they did it. They came out and beat us just like we beat Long Beach State last year. That's the great thing about tournament basketball. That's why people buy tickets and people watch. It's a side in the rectangle. And tonight, we weren't good enough. So Cal Poly pulls off their second upset in two consecutive days. And for the Anteaters, a disappointing finish, no question, but they are guaranteed a spot in the NIT as they were Big West regular season champs. We'll see you there, Eater fans.